Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming, and this is The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 16, Dwight Spoiler Part 3. There's so much information this week's episode, we had to break it down into several spoilers. We posted the Sasha video, the Jadis video, and today we're going to talk about Dwight. Warning, this will contain exact spoilers and dialogue from the upcoming episode. If you don't want to be spoiled, turn away right now. To understand Dwight, we have to talk a little bit about his journey. His goal is to serve Negan while also protecting Sherry, and this goes back a couple seasons. So remember, Dwight tried to get away from Negan in the first place. He was caught, and then of course he got the iron. It made him a rather loyal soldier for at least a while. He was kneeling, he was going around uh, scavenging goods from other people, had a point system with everybody, and then his goal was to break down Daryl. At one point, Negan said, I don't know if you're breaking down Daryl or Daryl's breaking down you. And he did all of this so he could just have a few quiet moments with Sherry. Even though Sherry was sleeping with Negan, Dwight still got those moments and occasional cigarette, which made it all worthwhile. But ultimately, there was too much loss and too much abuse that it started to wear on Dwight and break him down. Dwight had to go after his best friend there, had to shoot him down in cold blood, turn him into a walker, but that wasn't the only thing. Remember, the constant agony of having to deal with the iron, not only the, the memory of getting the iron, but any time Negan wanted to use the iron again, he had Dwight actually light it up. Dwight did have one last-ditch effort to be with Sherry, took her the beer and the pretzels, but when she was gone, that was Dwight's turning point, and I think he made up his mind he had to get back at Negan, and Rosita and Sasha gave him an out in order to do that. When he saw Rosita there, Rosita took him back to Alexandria, and that's where we stand. Don't kill Dwight. So remember last week's episode, Rick actually pulled the gun, pointed it at Dwight. Uh, Dwight says, Rick, look at me. Rick says, why? And he says, because I want him dead too. Rick says to Dwight, well, why don't you kill him? Because they're all Negan. There's way too many of them. So we know the dilemma that Dwight's in right now. I think we can trust him, but Tara is the first person to step up. Not so fast. Tara says, that girl that you murdered, she had a name, Denise. She was a doctor and helped people. And Tara's making her feelings known, and she's getting the crowd riled up a little bit. Dwight, if nothing else is honest, he says, I wasn't aiming for her insinuating it was Daryl. Daryl does not like that. Daryl takes Dwight, slams him up against the wall, pulls a knife out, and puts it up to his eyes, getting ready to cut his eye out. And that's where we have a little bit of a standoff. Tara keeps just agitating, saying, kill him, kill him. Dwight says, he, which is Negan, owned me, but not anymore. What I did was for someone else. She's gone, so now I'm here. Dwight looks at Daryl and says, and you're here because of her. And I think that sinks into Daryl. Daryl takes the knife down. Rick steps in. And Tara, once again, she wants Dwight dead. Dwight says there is another way. So Dwight goes in to his master plan. Dwight says, Negan is coming tomorrow. You don't have a whole lot of time, but this is what I'll do. I'll cut down some trees. I know the path that they're coming. Allow all the people in Alexandria to get ready. And then what you can do is you can snipe him, take him out, kill all the saviors. We'll load up into the truck. I'll radio back to the sanctuary, tell them everything's okay. We go get Sasha out of the sanctuary and then take over the sanctuary. Sounds like a great plan. Rick and everybody seems to be on board. Daryl does say, regardless of what happens, I'm going to kill him afterwards, says that to Tara. So Negan shows up on point, ready to go. You see Dwight in the background, and the ambush happens. Rick is ready to fire. We got Carl running around. You can see a smoke a little bit in the background. We also have Rosita ready to go. A little bit of concern when she sees them, but Michonne actually has a bazooka. So the group is ready to take out the saviors, but here's what happens. Jadis will ruin it all. Hopefully you guys saw the previous spoiler videos. Jadis is going to shoot Rick in the side. They're going to drag him in front of Negan. Uh, Negan tells Rick he's going to cut off his hand and kill Carl. Goes to swing at Carl. Shiva jumps out and interrupts the whole thing, which leaves us with the all-out war. So we know a couple things are going to happen, and my question to all of you is, what's going to happen to Dwight? Before we get into that, we do know that Sasha was in the coffin, so Sasha jumps out. Negan says to Eugene, I wonder how she died. So we don't know if Eugene is going to be trusted. He is going to go back to the sanctuary. I don't know if Dwight is going to pack up and go with them or if they got separated during all of the fray and all of the skirmish because we got Morgan's out there, Carol's out there, Ezekiel's out there. The group is shooting at everybody. Shiva is eating people, so it's just complete and utter madness. I don't know whether Dwight's going back to the sanctuary and he's going to be an inside source. Maybe Negan will still trust him, which would be a tremendous asset for Rick and group as they go into all-out war. A few questions still yet unanswered, but hopefully you guys get the gist of this week's spoiler. Thanks so much for everything that you guys do. Give this video a thumbs up, and also a special shout-out to all of my sponsors. My name is Killshot. Look for more videos and a live stream coming soon tonight. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.